Beginning in the 1980s, Massachusetts found itself at the center of the national abortion conflict, facing chaotic demonstrations and even violence at its abortion clinics. In response, the state legislature enacted a buffer zone law, restricting access around clinic entrances and exits. In McCullen v. Coakley, activists challenged that law. The Massachusetts law prohibited anyone from occupying a public way or sidewalk within a 35-foot radius of the entrance, exit, or driveway of a reproductive health care facility, with exemptions for people entering or leaving the facility and the facility's employees or agents acting within the scope of their employment. Violators were subject to criminal fines and prison. Eleanor McCullen, an anti-abortion activist, engaged in what she called sidewalk counseling outside a Boston clinic. McCullen initiated one-on-one conversations with women approaching the clinic, offering literature and information about abortion alternatives and assistance pursuing those alternatives. The statute forced McCullen to stay farther away from the clinic, hindering her counseling attempts. McCullen and other activists sued Massachusetts Attorney General Martha Coakley to enjoin the act's enforcement arguing that it violated the First Amendment. Coakley asserted that the law's purpose was to protect public safety, patient access to health care, and the unobstructed use of public sidewalks and roads. The district court ruled for Coakley, and the First Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.